Hello, and welcome to Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. Now, my friend had wanted me to, uh, try, try an older, more difficult game for my next playthrough, so I went ahead and grabbed this. Let us begin, shall we? Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Raziel, firstborn of his lieutenants. I have served Cain a millennium. The gift continued to evolve. We became less human and more divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my Lord. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. There was only one possible outcome. My eternal damnation. was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the lake of the dead. Cast him in. <laughs> Tumbling, burning with white hot fire, plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet, I lived. I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. 
There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to weave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver. My angel of death. Okay. Now, uh... One... Eldritch God wants us to live. Cool. Two... The whole Soul Reaver idea. That's actually a kind of big thing because that's the name of Cain's sword. That's really all These I know about the story up to this space, point. Laying a path across great spans. Other than the fact that uh, Cain, while well, yes he was human, he... Uh, tried to get, tried to return to, to his humanity. Brazil. When you are ready, this barrier will be dissolved. So he tried to be human, kind of lost himself along the way, and became king of the vampires. I really don't know what that's about. Oh well. Lots of walking. Lots and lots of walking so far. You are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. That's actually pretty cool looking. Whoa, it's a hell of a jump. Also, so this game uh was uh, it was on the Dreamcast. I think it was on the PlayStation not One as well. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. But yeah, um, because of where it came from, it's PC controls. Aren't that great? Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. As I was saying, 
Your enemies ah, cannot destroy you. Bad PC you port. Weak, however, you will always be have to use the left to out and hit the spacebar at the same time. So, yeah, this isn't going to go well. At all. I'll see you back at the uh, soul eater things, whatever they were called. Unless I can... no. Alright. See you then! I got to eight, eat, eight, eat them. Now what? Ah, that's what. Come on, up and add them. There we go. I wish that the gamepad actually worked with this. Like, it has gamepad options, but it doesn't the work. And material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this place. You may abandon your physical body at any time. I'm actually gonna try. Let's see.
Nope, yeah, okay. The gamepad doesn't work. Oh well. Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. All right, let's see. Locked gate, open path. You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. What are these creatures? You do not recognize them? They are the children of your brother, Duma. That's impossible. These foul, scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood? Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. Creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. Let's throw this one in the sun. Actually, no. Spike him. Nice. Look like I'd be able to get over there again. Nope, I was not. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. So that's the Dumahim Tyrants now. Oh yeah, uh, Nosgoth, which I've been playing a lot of lately, is based on this world. Okay, yeah, that was a locked gate. So what the hell am I supposed to do? I 
don't think I need to go back in here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Still a little high. Let's see Your if I can grab this. Yes, I can. Life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. Oh, this is so much like Tomb Raider. I'm having a lot of Tomb Raider uh, memories. Here's waiting for a giant T-Rex to show up. That would be pretty fun. Cool. I need to find a soul fast. 